Oh, hey, what's up, Phone TV Cribs? Come on in, I'll show you guys around. Well, guys, welcome to my shop. Um, I figured I'd start 2021 off on kind of a lighter note, and I would just, you know, do a little parody on MTV Cribs and give you guys a little shop tour. Now, my wife and I bought our new to us house in uh, February of 2020, so just before the, uh, the real estate market went booming and prices went sky high, so we we're very fortunate with that. Um, but with the house came this uh, 50 by 30 barn, um, with it, which already had a, a two post lift in it. And uh, so we've been here almost a year now and been pretty settled in. You've probably seen the, uh, you know, some parts of the shop in, in some of my previous videos, but I figured I'd just give you a full tour today. And maybe, since all of my cars are in here, I'll do a quick garage update as well. All right, let's get to it. super nice to be able to just pull up to it to a barn and hit the garage door button and have it go up for you. I'd also be pretty happy with it with a manual door as well that I would have to lift every time. It's just nice to have the electric, you know? So this this is the part of the shop that what do they say on MTV cribs where all the magic happens. Yeah, fully functional two post lifts. Unfortunately, it's only a 10 foot ceiling in here. Um, so I am pretty limited. However, I mean, you could still get the bottom of the car up, you know, about five and a half feet. I have plenty of room to work under there. It's a whole heck of a lot better than having your car up on jack stands, believe me. So over here's the tool corner, plasty box. Uh, got your trash, always need trash. And don't hate, I know, it's only like an eight gallon or 10 gallon air, it's an eight gallon air compressor, but I don't use a lot of air tools, uh, but I do have, of course, working in conjunction, conjunction with the uh, 50 foot hose reel there. So it's nice to just have air for, you know, whatever, doing tires, having a blow gun out or whatever. It's like they always say, it's not the size of the air compressor, it's how you use it, you know? Of course, shop essentials, got my speakers here. Playing your tunes while you're uh, while you're working on your car over here. And two, we got the fridge set up. Gotta have that. It's actually kind of em empty right now, but also I enjoy collecting like weird things and just kind of having it on top of my my toolbox. This is like a old clock from a Lincoln Aviator or something. I'm not sure. It's like an old one, not old, but early 2000s. And my buddy gave it to me. Just like keeping that up there. It doesn't. It's not hooked up. It doesn't work. Old button from a broken garage door. This is last winter, and I did the uh, intermediate shaft bearing in my in the 911. Uh, those are the cam chain tensioners. I replaced those. Oil pressure relief valve. I don't know. It's just kind of cool. Oh, here's the here's the IMS itself. Which I don't know if you haven't seen my previous video about this, but it was perfectly fine. Is it an overblown issue? Yes. Okay. Also, I ordered stuff from Pelican Parts once. They gave me a sticker. So back here's the workshop area. You can obviously see that it's much colder back here than it is in the other room because the heat doesn't quite make its way in here. Um, yeah, I got these two big workbenches in here with a few cabinets and whatnot. It's so nice to have space to work. Uh, the previous owner just left all this stuff, so super thankful for that. And the super old vice grip. It's so, you don't realize how nice it is to have one of those until you do, and you're like, oh wow. But yeah, tool storage down here and up here, you know, room to work. Um, watch your head, it's low. This is my detailing cabinet here. Got my uh, little 
caddy here for whenever I am washing the car. And also inside here, I've got all my wash mitts, microfiber wash, wash mitts, chamois. I've got my Griot's Garage Random Orbital here with all the polishing pad, correcting pads, um, finishing pads, you know, microfibers, essentials, you know. It's the detailing cabinet. Everything stays dust free and clean in there. Back here is a, an engine from a, one of those Kawasaki X2s you might have seen in the other room there. We blew it up at the end of the year, so it's uh, it's getting its jug refinished right now. I don't know if you can see that, but this thing is scored. So yeah, one of the one of the two pistons uh, kind of got a little lack of lubrication, we think, and uh, scored up one of the cylinders. So it's getting rebuilt this winter. Hence why it's kind of splayed out all over this bench here. And back here is just all the all the liquids, some of my detailing liquids, motor oil, gear oil, gotta have your stable, brake fluid, coolant, PV blaster, battery cleaner, you know, the works. Got some distilled water for when you're diluting some coolant. Odds and ends. generation. I absolutely adore this car. Uh, as you guys know, I used to have a Porsche Cayman S and that was an amazing car. Uh, but I bought this car kind of, you know, it, it was relatively inexpensive, needed a little bit of work, it's higher mileage. But of course I love, I love working on my cars. Um, and so I didn't, I didn't mind that of course, but yeah, shortly after buying this car, I was like, nah, this, this, this car is such a, a better car. And uh, so it kind of, as a result, felt kind of ridiculous to own two Porsches, even though they were, they're both two very delicious Porsche flavors. Um, the 911 just tastes that much better. <laughs> so uh, therefore the, the Cayman unfortunately got the chopping block. Currently, as you can see, down for some maintenance. I'm doing some exhaust work on it, and I'm also doing the, uh, the outer tie rod ends. Minor win winter maintenance stuff. <laughs> Moving on, you probably saw these two units uh, sitting in the background of some of the other shots, but these are uh, 1989 and 1988. There you have that backwards. Uh, anyway, they're old Kawasaki X2 jet skis. Um, these are these are a blast to ride, absolute blast. They're basically like BMX bikes on water. Um, but yeah, they're, they're kind of like, a, the seats aren't on them, and obviously this one's all taken apart. The engine for that one got blown up over the summer, so it's in the workshop back there getting rebuilt currently. 
But yeah, these are these are kind of like a hybrid model between like a sit down jet ski and a stand up jet ski. Of course, stand up like true stand up jet skis with like the swiveling handlebars did exist at the time. This was kind of like Kawasaki's attempt to kind of make a more uh, like a hybrid between the two. Absolute blast! They, these these jet skis have like a total cult following. It's kind of it's kind of funny to, to get online and, and look around and see what people are saying about them. Finally, last but not least, uh, figured I'd just talk about the lawnmower. It's just a lawnmower, but it is kind of a particularly cool one. Uh, this is a 1990 uh, John Deere F912. It's kind of their flagship uh, lawnmower at the time. Uh, it has a 60 inch deck on it. It's a, you know, it does huge passes. And uh, it was kind of like the, like the predecessor to the, to the modern day zero turn. It's a, it's a rear steer. It's got a really tight turning radius. And uh, you know, it's kind of like the more commercial uh, mower. You can't tell there's kind of like a theme with all the all of the uh, motorized vehicles that I own. I like older stuff that still works well. Um, so with my 27 year old Lincoln, my 20 year old Porsche, the 31 year old mower. I don't know. I just I just like old stuff. My 2007 BMW. So that's 14 years old now. That's my that's my you know daily. Not one of my cars has Apple CarPlay in it, and I don't freaking mind at all. Moral of the story, just drive your freaking cars. You don't need the technology. Technology. Both went on TV cribs. You've seen the shop. You've seen the cars. You've seen the Kawasaki X2s. Thank you for stopping by, but unfortunately, I've got to get back to, to uh, working on some projects here. So safe travels, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.